This table refers to the month of Elul, but also teaching us a very interesting thing about Torah codes, connecting the number of letters of the skip, connecting with the idea of the words of the skip. Now what you have here, the following, in the old Torah, you have the appearance of Chodesh Elul, the month of Elul, every 713 letters, as you can see on the side, we have the numbers coming here, you see the book of Leviticus, is the chapter, and amazingly, this what tells you what is a skip, and the skip is 713, it comes from the number of the letter of the Torah, which is 189, 2, 1, 2. But the most interesting is that the minimal skip of the Torah of the word Chodesh Elul is 713, which is a numerical value of the word Teshuba. Teshuba, which appears here, you can see here, Taf Shin Vav Bet Hei, Shuvah, repentance, and the numerical value is 400 and 300, 6 and 2 and 5, 7, 6, 713. Exactly to do with the month of Elul, which is a month which is destined for Shuvah, for repentance. And amazingly, the skip, the number of the letters in the skip, 713, is the numerical value of the word Shuvah. So the month of Elul with Zodiac, you have the word here, Zodiac, Mazal, Betula, Virgo, comes here, you see Virgo, next to the Shuba, Esau Reba Selas, this is a sign of the Zodiac, teaching us this is the time that people have to renew themselves, like a Virgo, where you prepare yourself for a wedding, for getting married, new life. So also, this is a time to start a new life by doing Shuba repentance. Uh, looking more into this, this is interesting, as we know quite well that the special thing about Elul was blowing the shofar. Yeah, it was a time when Moses went to the mountain of Sinai, yeah, he went to mountain Sinai, to Al Sinai, and we know quite well for 40 years he was praying during the month of Elul, Absalom Kippur really, asking for forgiveness for the Jewish people, and Shofar was blowing, that they will not make mistake again by counting the days since it was in the golden cup. So it was really like a command, a very Shofar to us. You should blow the Shofar during this time, what we are doing. Now, what we have here is parallel. You have the verse Sicha, forgiveness, which is really the time of forgiveness. And this is the time of Sari Basela, the Etiubus of God of mercy, which is Midot Rachamim, which is Midot, the tribus of God of mercy, which is certain of them, come openly on this month to forgive the people when they do Tshuva repentance, which is really the month which is destined for this. So, looking into this table, as we said, the most interesting is really that we have the minimal appearance of the world. Chodesh Elul with the number 713. Now 713 has also a Kabbalistic mystical meaning. Now 7, we know quite well, is the number of the spheres which have to do with the emotion, Chesed, Boat, Yifret. And 3 have to do with the upper ones, which is Chochmah bin Abadat. And in this case, you have also the crown, which is the first one, when we count the attribute, the sphere of knowledge of that, together with the crown, we have really seven emotional, three, and one, which is the crown, in the middle. Interesting is that the same numbers, misparims, in Hebrew, like one, three, seven, which refers to the same thing, crown, three upper spheres, and seven emotional ones, is the numerical value of Kabbalah. 
Kabbalah is hundred and thirty-seven, because Kabbalah really covers in it all this at use of spheres, better to say, of God, with the crown and with the knowledge and so on. So amazing to see connection, deep, deep connection, mystical, Kabbalistic, which show you that cause as much more than only appearance of words, but even the skip of letters, as we said in this case, Chodesh Shilul, and 713, which is a miracle word of Teshuvah, which comes here, and the Virgo, which is a sign of this man, Betulayin, all of these come to teach us about the importance of this time, Elul, which is the time, as we said, when Moses went up to our Sinai, praying, asking for forgiveness for God, and God was God forgave for them, and then definitely comes the days of O, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, all these days coming to complete this repentance of the Jewish people.